The St. Augustine Lighthouse in St. Augustine, Florida is one of the most beautiful lighthouses in the country and is also the seventh largest lighthouse in the country. But like many things in the ancient city, this structure is not without its own history of trials, tribulations, and tragedy. In 1874, during the construction of the lighthouse, five young girls, ch ch children of Hezekiah Pity, who was leading the construction on the lighthouse, were playing in the tram car that traveled between the shoreline and the construction site of the lighthouse. They enjoyed going back and forth on the tram car because it was very much like a roller coaster. Unfortunately, one day, strategy struck. The tram car lost control and barreled into the water at the shoreline. Construction workers dropped everything they had and they booked it towards the water line and they jumped into the water to try to save these five young girls. Thankfully, though, two of the young girls were able to be brought to the shoreline and saved. Unfortunately, three of the young girls perished that day in the waters. Many people believe that their spirits still linger here at the St. Augustine Lighthouse. There's been numerous accounts in the 1980s. There was construction being done on the, on the site, and construction workers were staying on property during the construction, and they witnessed seeing young girls appearing in their rooms in the middle of the night out of nowhere and vanishing in thin air. One of the most famous pictures from the St. Augustine Lighthouse is the one shown to you right now. This is known as the Storm Ghost Woman. During a really, really bad storm, I can't remember if it was a hurricane or just a tremendously bad thunderstorm, there was a person who looked out at the lighthouse and noticed that there was a woman standing at the top of the lighthouse during this massive storm. So he grabbed his, his, his picture camera and took a picture of the lighthouse. Unbeknownst to him was the lighthouse was closed during this storm. There was no way that anyone could have went up to the top of the lighthouse to be able for this picture to be taken. Do you believe that this is a true sign of evidence of the paranormal? Do you believe that maybe someone might have broke into the white to the lighthouse and this picture was staged? What are your thoughts down in the comments below? Or do you think that this is just one of the, the young girls or maybe one of the caretakers' wives? who still carries on a presence at the St. Augustine Lighthouse. Have you been to the St. Augustine Lighthouse? Let me know down in the comments below what your experiences were. Did you notice anything supernatural in nature? Did you have any feelings? Did you see anything? Were you touched? Anything along those lines? Let me know down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, let me know. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so, so you can catch more videos, filming locations, haunted locations, haunted stories, famous graves, famous houses, true crime, historical locations, and much, much more. As always, continue to look for the history and film. I look forward to seeing you all on a later edition here at Golden Ticket to History. See you guys next time.